45 minutes to Brazil for Canada and Costa Rica. The Canadians up 1-0 at the half at Houston's BBVA Compass Stadium as they look for a third consecutive trip to the Summer Olympic Games. Costa Rica in search of a historic first trip to the Olympics. Christine Sinclair, your goal scorer, has Canada up 1-0. Her strike coming in the 17th minute. It's the 55th time Sinclair has scored the opening goal for Canada in her legendary career. In the previous 54 matches where Sinclair has scored that opener, Canada is 42, 7, and 5. A tall task awaits the Costa Ricans. Sebastian Salazar, glad to be back with you on NBC Sports Live Extra. This is the first of two semifinals tonight in Houston. The second coming up at 8.30 between the United States and Trinidad and Tobago. Tonight's two winners head to the Summer Olympics in Rio, where they'll join Brazil, Colombia, France, Germany, South Africa, Zimbabwe, New Zealand, plus a pair of teams yet to be determined out of Asia, as well as one more team out of Europe. To complete the 12-team field. And one more half to go between both these sides and an Olympic berth. Sinclair, the early header into the box. Dania Diaz there to gather for Costa Rica. Diaz, Las Ticas, 28-year-old goalkeeper, made a couple of big saves in the first half to keep this scoreline where it is, 1-0 Canada. Costa Rica, whose attack had looked so vibrant over their last two matches. A 9-0 explosion against Puerto Rico, and then a 2-1 win against Mexico. Have struggled to produce in the final third tonight. As the Canadian defense locks down. Here, Diana Matheson on the wrong end of a challenge from Lixi Rodriguez. Aaron McLeod to take the free kick. Maria Fernanda Barrantes. On the ball on the near sideline. To Raquel Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Barrantes. And the timing of that run just off. Barrantes was in, Rodriguez held it for that extra touch as the Canadian back four stepped up in unison, drawing the offside call. McLeod making her 113th start for Canada tonight. Her 117th international appearance overall and a beautiful ball here to Diana Matheson. Belanger, direct service to Rose. A collision just atop the Costa Rican penalty area. Carol Sanchez draws the foul. As the two number sixes come together, Rose stepping in from behind. Three minutes into the second half, Costa Rica looking for their first ever berth in the Olympic Games. Canada, the reigning bronze medalists. Who could forget their semi-final match four years ago in London against the United States. One of the best soccer games, men's, women's, children you'll ever see. And after that heartbreak, 
followed it up with an inspiring one nothing win over France in the bronze medal match. The goal scorer in that game, the hero, Diana Matheson. She's on the field tonight. Buchanan. Called for the foul as Raquel Rodriguez, who struggled to get involved in the first half, sees her first action of the second. Rodriguez, the glancing header. But very little support for the Costa Rican starlet. Rodriguez, just 22 years old. Her father, a professional player in Costa Rica during his playing days for Herediano. Her two goals against Mexico. What's gotten Las Ticas to this point? Can she produce some more magic? Scott turns into and then out of pressure to Shalina Zadorski. Now Alicia Chapman. Chapman to the 16-year-old Rose. Rodriguez all the way back into her own half. Nice move to beat Chapman. Now over the top, nearly picked out Science. Well played from Zadorski. Timely intervention from the Canadian center back. Not on, relax, take space. Belanger confidently moves across midfield. Now she'll play square through Scott, who pivots to Zadorski. Rose. Time to bring this ball down. She and Chapman have shown the ability to combine well down the left flank for Canada. Schmidt steers away from Cruz. Belanger running at Barrantes, who stands tall in defense. Diaz had to take that one off the bounce, but manages it well. Here comes Sainz, streaking forward from the right back spot. Won't beat Chapman with that pass. As a Costa Rican counter goes wasted. 52 minutes in at BBVA Compass Stadium in downtown Houston. One of two CONCACAF spots in the Rio Olympics on the line between Canada and Costa Rica. Diana Matheson sliding past Wendy Acosta. Now to Ashley Lawrence. Lawrence with the challenge. Loose ball in the Costa Rican box. Only half cleared by Sainz. Sinclair on it. The left footed volley. Off the ball and in. Christine Sinclair. John Herdman and his team are all smiles as they take a big step closer to Brazil. Issues at the back for Costa Rica. And what a golazo from Christine Sinclair. In all reality, it probably never should have come to this, but Sinclair makes magic out of nothing. A left-footed stunner beats Diaz and Costa Rica are on the ropes. Sinclair just one goal through group play in this competition, but she's come up big when it matters most. Goals number 160 and 161 for her career. In cap, Number 235. 
What an amazing run she's had. And with about 40 minutes to go, she is single-handedly punching Canada's ticket to Brazil. Does Costa Rica have a response? Rodriguez, the header off the quick service from Herrera. But no second touch in the box for the Costa Rican forward. Another look at Sinclair's work of art. And that reaction, folks, says it all. So much on the line. The way this tournament is set up, there is no margin for error. You can dominate group phase. But if you don't win the semifinals, you are not going to the Olympics. Canada the favorite this evening. But not showing any signs of feeling the pressure. Scott racing back past Barantes to win the ball, and then Sophie Schmidt wins the foul. An obvious challenge from behind there from Katarin Alvarado. She's already on a yellow card, so caution for the Costa Rican midfielder. Rose to Lawrence, whose touch abandons her out of bounds to Costa Rica, but Las Ticas have a lot of work to do. There are some options off the bench that could be very dangerous for Amelia Valverde and her Costa Rican side. Rose fighting through a couple Costa Rican defenders and now she leads the break for Canada. Rose in, two on one, Rose the shot over the bar. She had Christine Sinclair in the box and chose to go it alone. Great work from the young Canadian. Only 16 years old, lays waste to the Costa Rican defense. Ashley Lawrence on the corner kick. Straight into Rose. Rose brings it down. Looks like it may have glanced off her forearm. Handball called against Canada. Perfect delivery from Ashley Lawrence, it must be said. And attention to the United States. This Canadian team has been very, very good on corner kicks throughout this tournament. Should the U.S as is expected, beat Trinidad and Tobago later tonight. A game you can watch on NBCSN as well as right here on NBC Sports Live Extra. That USA-Canada match would be a doozy. Set for Sunday afternoon. Costa Rica. Running out of ideas and running out of time. Sinclair, easy aerial win. And the Canadians, very happy here to play possession in the Costa Rican half. The look of concern clearly evident 
on the face of Amelia Valverde. Raquel Rodriguez tossed to the ground. Again, the game plan for Canada, limit her touches. Not an inch of space for the Costa Rican playmaker. Belanger sees that ball over the near sideline. Can Costa Rica apply some high pressure? The option to sit back and absorb presser, pressure clearly no longer on the table for Valverde. Buchanan stepping through and she'll feel harshly done by that call. Cannon appeared in all three games. Now all four for Canada in this tournament. A single goal. She was voted the best young player of last summer's World Cup in Canada. At 20 years old, her future bright. Erin McLeod. Honing in on the set piece to come from Catarina Alvarado. Alvarado skips it. But McLeod, far from troubled by that. This Canadian team extremely well balanced. We mentioned 21 goals throughout this tournament, now 23. 11 different players have scored. Diana Matheson among those 11, and she'll win the throw in for Canada. And to start the second half, we mentioned some potential options off the bench for Costa Rica. Here's probably the most likely to score. Carla Villalobos enters the match and replaces Maria Fernanda Barrantes. Villalobos, a hat trick against Puerto Rico in that 9 0 victory for Costa Rica. In the group phase. And she'll be tasked with providing a spark to this Costa Rican attack. Acosta under pressure from Sinclair. The Canadians playing with a sense of urgency we have not seen from them in this tournament. It's not a knock against Canada, it's just the reality of their three group phase matches. Easy wins against Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago and Guatemala. This their first tense test and they are answering with conviction. Costa Rica trying to build out of the back. Lixi Rodriguez one-on-one -on -one with Matheson who wins it easily. Belanger now. Belanger. Rodriguez upset with that call. As she thought she'd stripped it clean from the Canadian right back. Intriguing set piece opportunity here for Canada in the 63rd minute. Surely a goal here would put this match on ice. Matheson to the near post, signs the header. Chapman, the switch. 
Intended for Zadorsky, intercepted by Alvarado. Cruz clears away. Belanger hacked down on the near sideline. No foul called from the Honduran center ref, Melissa Borjas. Zdorowski to Chapman. Cuts around Herrera. Now Schmidt. Schmidt tried to find Sinclair. Well read by Shirley Cruz. The Costa Rican captain trying to make a difference here in the final half hour. Granados, Acosta. And Scott, dogged in her pursuit of the ball, whistled for the foul. This is the fourth time that CONCACAF have hosted an Olympic qualifying tournament. Costa Rica have made the semi-final round in each of the four competitions. They have never scored a goal in the semi-finals. Matheson, Sinclair, Ashley Lawrence, cross back in. And Rodriguez will play it safe, out of bounds for another Canadian corner kick. Christine Sinclair will take the corner kick for 18 goals in CONCACAF Olympic qualifying, an all-time record. And she's done it in just 16 games. How about that for a strike rate? Here she's looking to turn provider. Canada sending five players into the box in search of a third. Rodriguez and Buchanan battling. But Dania Diaz comes away with the ball. And now serves ahead to Melissa Herrera. The 19-year-old trapped in the corner there by a couple Canadian defenders, and she loses possession. Shirley Cruz dropping all the way back into almost a defensive role for Costa Rica. Sanchez, Diana Sainz, but again the Canadian pressure too much for Costa Rica. Ashley Lawrence had a step on Acosta, but the assistant referee's flag goes up and Costa Rica will dodge a major bullet there. 68th minute, Canada in control, 2-0 on the strength of two goals from Christine Sinclair. and grinding away on defense prevents the penetrating pass from Lixi Rodriguez Villalobos ahead to Rodriguez finally getting some space she's into the box on that left foot Rodriguez working against Buchanan oh what a matchup that is Buchanan wins it easily Kadisha Buchanan Here she is. 
Kadisha Buchanan living up to that all-world starting 11. Tonight, she has anchored the Canadian back line that has limited Costa Rica to very, very few opportunities throughout the 69 minutes so far. This could be trouble. Herrera hoping to catch McLeod off her line. It's going to take something spectacular from there, and Herrera could not provide it. Buchanan. The switch to Chapman. Head to Rose. Out of bounds. Last touch by Costa Rica. Scott. Belanche working against Villalobos. Can't gain the edge. So the Canadians will be content with possession. Now served into Sinclair. She was hoping for Lawrence on the back post. Canadian attack fizzles. 20 minutes to go in Houston. Canada on the verge of a third consecutive Olympic berth. Nice turn from Alvarado. Squeezes in between Scott and Schmidt and draws the foul. Surely here, Costa Rica will look to be more aggressive. Throw caution to the wind as their Olympic hopes hang in the balance. Herrera up ahead to Rodriguez. Zdorsky with the timely challenge. We said throughout the group stage, this Canadian defense had not been tested, specifically Shalina Zdorsky operating next to Kadisha Buchanan. Well, tonight she's answered the bell. And my, oh my, what a decision in the 71st minute. With Deanna Science going away from goal, Desiree Scott called for a foul and a penalty kick looming for Costa Rica. A lifeline for Las Ticas. Mm. The Honduran referee, Melissa Borjas, with the call that could change the course of this match. Aaron McLeod, tasked with preserving the Canadian shutout. Raquel Rodriguez to take it. Rodriguez versus McLeod. Rodriguez's sixth goal of the tournament. She's now tied with Crystal Dunn atop the scoring chart. Another foul 
called against Desiree Scott and another opportunity here for Costa Rica to move forward. Set piece to be taken just on the Canadian side of midfield. Acosta. And the cloud will come out and gather cleanly in the 74th minute. Just over a quarter hour to play at Houston's BBVA Compass Stadium. One spot in Rio to be decided in the next 16 minutes. Winner goes to Brazil, loser does not. Canadians turning up the pressure now. Shirley Cruz. Beautiful change of direction. Nearly picked out Lexi Rodriguez. Jose Belanger. Showing she can do more than just a tap from the right back spot. Given time to turn before her pass was intercepted by Carla Villalobos. Sinclair, what a touch! Matheson now! Acosta desperately clearing away. Couple of tricky little touches there from the veteran pair of Sinclair and Matheson. Diaz and Rose jumping for the same ball. Diaz comes away with it clean. have shifted for John Herdman. Moments ago celebrating Christine Sinclair's second. And now the pressure swinging back over to this Canadian side. Lawrence turning on the burners. Zdorski got Chapman looking on the far side. Diaz quickly back in play for Costa Rica. Granados brings it down. All the way back to McLeod, not going to mess around with it here. She offers up a one-time clearance. Lawrence over the top. Sinclair in pursuit. It's a foot race and Sinclair is going to get there first. Sinclair, Matheson, Sinclair! Offside. away from a hat trick but a well executed step forward from the Costa Rican back line Rodriguez with a chance to bring it down on the Canadian side of midfield great win from Sophie Schmidt here comes Ashley Lawrence running at Sanchez 
Lawrence over the top. Lixi Rodriguez the header. Sanchez the clear. Forced to chase. John Herdman preparing a couple of substitutions on the near sideline. Matheson, Schmidt, intercepted by Herrera. Herrera running at Scott. Herrera has pace. She holds up now. Dropping to Granados. Granados, a switch. Belanger, the header. Schmidt with good control in tight quarters. Ten minutes to go and still not a lot of high pressure from this Costa Rican side. Here's Chapman, wide open on the far sideline. Cross to the box, Diaz! Costa Rica offered a path back into this match in the 75th minute. Penalty kick strike from Raquel Rodriguez. The foul certainly controversial. Acosta. Lixi Rodriguez. But McLeod stepping up. Villalobos now, the second half sold! She had an idea, a dangerous one at that. The Villalobos effort sails well over the Canadian crossbar. And here come the subs. Christine Sinclair, her two goals right now, the difference for Canada. She leaves the match in the 82nd minute. Replaced by Melissa Tancredi. The captain's armband going over to Diana Matheson. The second substitution will see a celebration of sorts. Sophie Schmidt comes off. And Nichelle Prince celebrating her 21st birthday today will enter the match. Canada, some eight minutes away from the Rio Olympics. Tancredi, brilliant ball to Ashley Lawrence. Lawrence serves. Prince lurking but Diaz collects at the near post. Prince and Tancredi. Two recent subs teaming together well. As Costa Rica looks to grab some possession. They do through Shirley Cruz. But the pathways into the Canadian half all but cut out. 
This Canadian defensive effort has been magnificent tonight. Costa Rican side with so much talent, especially in the attack. Have done next to nothing throughout 84 minutes of play. time off the clock on this set piece. Belanger. Tancredi and Acosta knock heads and the foul goes against the Canadian striker. Cannot say enough about the service from Belanger throughout this tournament. Perhaps Canada's most effective weapon. Here's Prince in behind the Costa Rican defense. Prince rolls! Tickets, Canada. You are all but on the way to Rio. McLeod starts it off. Tancredi draws the attention of the Costa Rican defense. And Prince just into the game with a perfect pass to Deanne Rose, the 16 year old. Makes it three to one, Canada. And tempers boiling over here. As Melissa Borjas looks to get things under control. The control right now belongs to Canada. They are up three to one, and they are minutes away from an Olympic berth. Another long ball into the Canadian box. And another confident catch from Aaron McLeod. Zdorsky facing almost no pressure from the Costa Rican 11 despite the fact Las Ticas trail 3 to 1. Chapman ruled offside. A reminder this one of two semifinals tonight. At 8.30 here on NBC Sports Live Extra as well as NBCSN, it's the United States and Trinidad and Tobago. Winner of that match will join the winner of this one, representing CONCACAF at the Rio Olympics. all the way back to Diaz. Cruz bringing it down. The switch. Herrera. Herrera into the box. But Scott steady in the clearance.
Amelia Valverde talking there with Fabiola Sanchez. Herrera. Granados turning into the box. Stopped by Buchanan. Second challenge there on Rodriguez. Appeals for a foul. Will go for not. Diaz in some trouble here against Lawrence. And you can sense the desperation from Costa Rica. Their Olympic hopes hanging by a very thin thread. Diana Sides. Ball slips through to Raquel Rodriguez, but Karisha Buchanan again there to stop any forward progress for this Costa Rican side. She has been a rock at the back for Canada. Zdorsky goes to ground and wins it. Scott ahead to Prince. Prince now with time and space. Works past Rodriguez. Her early service took a deflection. Now taken over by Costa Rica. Three minutes of stoppage time in Houston. Canada up 3-1. And almost assured now of a summer trip to Brazil. The Rio Olympics. Women's soccer competition begins in early August, runs almost to the end of the month. And Canada moments away from joining the 12-team field. Substitution for Costa Rica, Catarín Alvarado. Off in favor of Fabiola Sanchez. The 22-year-old plays collegiately for Martin Methodist College, an NAIA school in Tennessee. Substitution for Canada as well, Deanne Rose, who scored the clincher five minutes ago, comes off. On comes Rebecca Quinn. She of a hat trick against Guatemala. Canada needing only to see this thing out. Tancredi and Prince working in the corner and doing so successfully. No rush for the Canadians here. Matheson trots forward for the throw-in. See Matheson wearing the captain's armband. She took it from Christine Sinclair when Sinclair exited the match earlier in the second half. Keep them in there! Tight! First and second! Well, his team is up by two goals with just seconds left. But no drop in intensity from John Herdman. Make the tackles! Make the tackles! Granados poked away by Scott. Hold. She now switches to Carol Sanchez. And that pass a bit indicative of the night it's been for Costa Rica. Everything just a half step off for Las Ticas. And against a team like Canada, that's something you can ill afford. Canada, a real 
John Herdman's side. John, you're off to Brazil. Brazil. Once again, uh, a tighter game this time around, but a great performance. No, nah, it wasn't tight at all. I think the girls were fantastic. They owned that game. You know, referee tried to make it a bit interesting, I think, but uh, I thought they were phenomenal tonight. They played good football, defended very well. I think all the players showed their class. Proud of them. There was a lot of nerves and pressure on us for sure, but they just stood tall tonight. So good stuff, happy days, they set a goal for scoring three tonight and they did, it's every game they've done that. So on to the final against the US, here we come. A tournament about youth, but it was your star veteran once again who stood up. Oh, she's class. You know, all those people who'd written her off at the World Cup, man. You know, Sinclair, when you ask her to deliver, she delivers. She's got a lot going on in her life, that woman. She was injured tonight playing, but wow, what a performance. So, Stick with our Canada, we're going to Rio, and we're going to have another crack at that podium. Thanks, John. Congratulations. Thank you. Cheers, bro. Confident words from the Canadian head coach, John Herdman, acknowledging the pressure that his team was under, and the star performance of Christine oh, Sinclair. It means everything. We've been working for four years for this. We've been transitioning a squad. You know, trying to make sure that we could be in Rio. You have to be in Rio for a Canadian country. Our football fans deserve it. And the girls have taken them there, so we're over the moon. But we got a big game coming up in two days, and we want to land on the moon and get home safely. So that's the job of another group of players coming up against the U.S. What makes this team different? What is it made for? Not bronze, what? Look. All I know is we're pushing them to new levels. I think they're getting better. You know, we'll see where they land in Rio, but they've firmly set a target of trying to be the, you know, first team to go back to back podiums for our country. And that's what we want to do. Congratulations. So John Herdman in Canada will have a chance to defend and perhaps improve upon their Olympic bronze medal of four years ago in London, Canada, Rio bound in 2016, Christine Sinclair, international goals 160 and 161 tonight, and she was the star for this Canadian side. Christine, what is it with you in big games? <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, just, that was like a whole team performance right there. Costa Rica came out there. A much improved team and they they tested us like no other team in this tournament so far and you know we got a lot of crosses in and i was lucky to get on the end of a couple of them off the olympics once again <laughs> some unfinished business maybe uh yeah not thinking about that right now we'll we'll enjoy this tonight and then uh get ready to take on most likely the americans in a couple days uh we we want to get it done this time is that one of your biggest performances in a big game do you think yeah 
yeah, I mean, uh, I hope the team can count on me in big games and something I pride myself. I'm ready for these games. And you know, I think John did a great job throughout the course of the tournament resting players. I thought we were the fresher team and uh, it paid off tonight. Thank you. Congratulations. Three appearances in this tournament, three goals for Christine Sinclair, including two huge ones tonight. Canada, 3-1 winners over Costa Rica. They are Young headed players. to the Rio oh, Olympics. Know, Up next on NBCSN and, uh, as well as NBC Sports got, Live I Extra, think the coach in the world, it's the United uh, States and, we've got and Trinidad some young and Tobago uh, for a brought ticket into our team to Brazil. This tournament, they, they show them brightly. Uh, yeah, the future of this team, it's just incredible. Talk about the feeling and what does it mean to you to score tonight? Ah, I mean, obviously it's a, a huge relief to, to get the victory. I mean, I don't care who's scoring as long as we're winning. Um, but I, I hope my team can count on me in big games. It's something I pride myself on. And uh, just a whole team performance tonight. Very proud of our team. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank